really call it a mesentery. The lesser omentum I would call a mesentery because all the blood vessels to the, that part of the stomach are coming in through there. If you took all those guts out of there, uh, this is what you'd have left. Um, and what you'd see is this long attachment of the mesentery proper here. This is the long attachment of the ascending colon, the transverse colon, the descending colon. They would be left. Here's the blood vessels that come <coughs> to the intestine mainly. And what, what's the name of that artery? artery. The, the SMA, the superior mesenteric artery. Mm -hmm. The superior mesenteric artery, remember, is one of the three unpaired arteries coming off the aorta. The top one is called the called the celiac trunk. Remember that? Oh, yeah. It comes off way up high and it supplies the liver, the spleen, the stomach, all those things up top. Then the SMA, the superior mesenteric artery, supplies the entire small intestine down to the middle of the transverse colon generally. The IMA, the inferior mesenteric artery, supplies the left side of the colon, the sigmoid over here. Okay? A lot of stuff, isn't it? Kind of looked at it from the side, it would look like this. Here's that mesentery coming up from the back. It surrounds all these loops of bowel. Here's the sigmoid mesocolon. Uh, here's that greater omentum that we just were talking about. It's sort of a mesentery, but sort of not. Uh, there's the transverse musical, and this is the transverse colon. The thing that I want you to recognize from this picture right here is I want you to realize that there are three parts of the intestine that are not in the peritoneal cavity. Okay? And those three parts are the second and third portions of the duodenum. You see, they are retroperitoneal. They're behind the peritoneum. They're not out in the belly. And not out in the peritoneal cavity. So the duodenum is one, the rectum is the second one, because it's kind of left the peritoneal cavity on its way towards the anus. So the rectum is, is not a peritoneal structure, it's retroperitoneal. And what's the third one that's not in the belly? Huh? The esophagus. The esophagus is not in the abdomen, obviously. Now, the reason that's important is because the esophagus and the rectum and the second portion of the duodenum do not have a mesentery and do not have a covering of peritoneal cavity. They have to be covered with something. What are they covered with? The esophagus is kind of covered with the trachea and the muscles. Yeah, what's the layer? What's that tissue that surrounds it called? Somebody emailed me a question about this. It was you. What's that?